right, guys, good afternoon and what's going on? Um, I'm heading to Bear Mountain. So if you guys don't know what that is, it's the giant MR2 meet. I think it's the biggest MR2 meet in the entire country. I'm in the US, if you guys didn't know that. Um, so yeah, I'm heading there right now. I'm going to see Ty Saxon and the TCS guys here shortly. Um, I've got about 45 minutes to go. It's about a four hour drive from my house. And so far, it's been awesome. This has been fantastic so far. The drive's been nice. I, mean, I kind of changed it up. I did take the highway the whole way. Uh, I took a lot of back roads to make it more fun and I don't know, a little bit less boring, I guess, but I should be there shortly. Uh, there's a hotel that's local to the event that everyone stays at. And I think everyone has a pretty good time drinking and shenanigans. So I'll talk to you guys more once I get there. No, you can't. This is awesome. What up, man? Grab your beer. I didn't give any money, so I'm not going to take someone else's beer. <laughs> no, the beer is for uh, everybody. Is this your car? Or? No, it's John's. No, I got to speak with John then, too. The Canadian guys you know, stop at the border and get two cases and bring them. That's, that's the most Canadian thing I've heard, I'll probably hear. We just, we just get cases of beer and just bring them down for everyone. That's that's normal, right? You guys have to drink your beer, right? So we, we bring your Oh, I drink piss water beer. That's, I drink piss water beer. I'm not going to lie. I usually drink the cheapest. So, I mean, no, this is cool that you guys do something like this. And this... Like I've seen pictures of this, this went viral a couple years back, and I'm like, seeing it in person now is so freaking cool. This thing is the coolest. Oh, bad news, buddy. I say I'll give you two rats for a cat. Am I live? Oh, you're live right now, bro. So, so Canadian beer. Guys, I'm drinking Canadian. I'm the bat. Labat Blue, bro. Labatt Blue, Matt. So I always drink Keystone. The guy who's drinking the Heineken is complaining that I'm not drinking Canadian beer. <laughs> so go ahead. Can you introduce? So my fan base mostly knows Super World and stuff. So can you introduce yourself and so, what so this car between, is here? Between Super World, this is this is the Super World's baby brother. But this is you're mostly Mark Ford. Right. Correct. So this would be like comparable to uh, Mark Two or Mark Three Super. I guess. All right. From those years. So this we got a uh, Mark One supercharged MR2. So the last year of the first gen. Uh, very dirty. So you drive down to Montreal. And if you look around, I'm sure you're gonna yep. pass through the parking lot. There's it's a, a massive amount of people there's, here. There's tons of MR2s here. Tomorrow we're counting on about 180 MR2s. Really? That many will show up? Last year we were I think 165. So every year there's a little bit of growth. That's awesome. Um, so you said you wanted to you wanted to see the, the reality of what we do. So we come here, we drive our cars. They get dirty. We drink, we party, we meet old friends who uh, we see once or twice a year. Again, I wanted to reiterate, you're, you drove the, down from Canada. How far is that drive? Don't say from Canada. So you gotta, you gotta say Canada is a big place. That's saying you're from the U.S. Okay. All right. So I don't want to bust your chops, but I'm from Montreal. So okay. Quebec. So we had about uh, 600 kilometers, which is 360 miles, more or less. So okay. That's not that's that a, far. That's not that terrible. So it's, a drive. it's a decent drive. Uh, we came down to 11 cars. Um, we got some other Canadians coming from Toronto actually that are here. Um, so we come down every year and do the ride. We sponsor the Beer Mountain after party, which is tomorrow. Nice. Where we bring Canadian beer and we introduce you Americans to uh, some good stuff. Or you Canadians, if you're Canadian and you're watching, I mean, YouTube is, is pretty international. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so for us, it's about the cars, the camaraderie, uh, friendships that we make. Um, everyone's pretty laid back, as you've already seen. Everyone's having a good time, everyone's chatting. Uh, there's all kinds of conversations going on. I mean, I'm looking around, there's like at least 30 really good people that I know fairly well, and there's a whole bunch of people I like to meet. So it's, it's about the people, it really is. Yep. Uh, MR2 community, I mean, I've never really been part of another one, but from what I understand, it's a good community. It's one where uh, people aren't, aren't trying to squish people down, everyone's trying to help each other. Sure. So it's a good. Uh, it's a good bunch of guys and if, gals. Sure. I can, if I can say one thing, Shoot. if there's one thing you could take from this event, what's the biggest thing that you take from this event, or what's the number one thing you could say comes from this event? Friendship. Friendship is like the, the key word. It's uh, there's people honestly that I met. I've been coming since 2011, so it's my eighth year. Um, there's at least five or six people I, I would say are, are close friends that I would be able to tell them anything. And these are people I never met prior to coming to Paramount. That's awesome, man. Thank you very much. I appreciate the introduction, and uh, I'll let everyone else. We'll go ahead and start walking around here, guys. So there's a grill in here. Uh, so the, the grill's laying down now, so it actually has to come out, and it sits about here. It's in there. 
Yeah. Yeah. Last year, last year I was wrestling with it to go up. You're gonna do the same thing this year. All right, I'm in. Oh, yeah, you're the fucking biggest. You don't even have to. Bend. Everyone else is like we're bending down. Like there's, you're using your arms like this. You're, you're five feet tall. That's what happened. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I was trying to give you credit. I, no, I was. That's because you're not drinking one of my beers. So that's okay. That's what oh, your heels are. Oh, oh yeah, of course. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's what your heels on. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's love. That's you. that's love. All right, guys. Good morning. We've got Chris here behind me right now. It is early. It is really early. It is really early. So there's guys up front here washing their cars already. So it's pretty cool to actually let people wash their cars here. It's a little windy, so I'm sorry. I apologize if there's any wind noise right now. But got a black all track there and a bunch of SW20s here all cleaning up. There's that Mark One from last night with the trailer pretty damn cool so it is awesome that they let them do this I wish if I had known this I would have brought a bucket with me also just to clean my car up I just realized too I knew his trailer had Volks on it and it realized the front too so that car's on Volks the whole way around also all right good morning guys again uh, we're now here at the event Hux has got their tent set up same people that made mine theirs came out really nice you got their backdrop um, we got Ty set up over here not going in. and he's trying to drone to the ground right now Don't Eric how's this working out Bam! <laughs> Their backdrop turned out really, really cool. You can see caution tape. <laughs> you can see the caution tape behind it, but it looks really cool. I love this. First one's here too, so we got good spots. This is awesome. First time I get to see Eric's car too. Drag radials. Huck's pulling off his race car off the trailer now. Right, guys some, some cars are showing up now um, we've got a couple over here this event's just starting off Randy just put his car and backed it up here they're uh, cleaning out the dead bird that he didn't realize he hit so if you guys can see this is a factory color also which I never knew even existed till yesterday I thought it was just aftermarket paint but this is actually a factory color this is probably going to be the cleanest MR2 here today for car seats TRD authentic steering wheel in it and then the engine bay, which is by far, yeah, if you guys just look at it. GT3071R, Racer X intake manifold, tile wastegate, tile blow valve, um, powder coat galore, custom shaved engine bay. You name it, it has it. I mean, it, everything's wire tucked, moved in some way, shape, or form. It's just, yeah. What's the powder coat color called? Uh, Midnight Blue Wrinkle. Midnight Blue Wrinkle. It's definitely has a nice look to it. I like how they also put a 90 degree elbow here so it goes straight back. There's no need for a 90 degree coupler. It's just very smooth, very nicely done. Again, there's a steering wheel getting there. would love to do this gauge here. Most of this today I'm trying to get ideas, guys, of what I'd like to do for the car. And this is exactly, if you want a car that's set up right, this is it. This is exactly how you want to do it if you're going to do it right. Custom white wide body all molded into. So if you guys can see here, it's molded. So that front bumper is not coming off. Side skirts, not coming off. Rear bumper, not coming off. It's really well done though. Love the white. And I love when people do this. They vinyl wrap the top. Or do they actually paint it? I think it's actually painted. But this is really well done actually. I don't think there's a real T37s. They look like the knockoffs, but still very clean. Okay, see how wide that is. Has the wheel wood brakes in the front, powder coated yellow. Carbon fiber dash. I'm assuming it has a turbo deck lid, so I'm assuming it's a turbo model. 
center exhaust. It's really well done. Oh, sorry, man. GT4 RC model, right hand drive. We've got another mid engine here. We got an NSX on Volk wheels right now, but. That was good. I think overall good. Harding kind of sucked, but. There was so many cyclists. I know. There was like a bike party going on. Beautiful car. Got the weight set up here at Huck's booth. I always look at our booth like that. It's all the cars rolling in from the drive today. Getting in here is a little sketchy. You got to come in sideways. Hey brother, do you mind if you rev it up a little bit for me real quick here, if that's okay? Just a little bit of a rev, now to rev it out, but... Good lord! Listen to that thing, guys. Absolutely insane. Thank you, man. Sounds amazing. This is awesome, man. Our car's rolling in. Sorry guys, we're gonna be random, but there's just so much to take in all at once here. Another wide body. Way more cars here today. Missing more here again. There's just more and more. Just keep rolling in. Oh, it did.
What's up, man? No, I brought the MR2. That's good, man. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. What's up, man? So I found extremely clean all track. It is left hand drive, OZ wheels, Wheelwood big brake kit. I need an all track next in my life. Extremely, extremely clean car. The first one I've seen with a K20 swap so far. Hux racing mounts. Again, a really, really clean setup here. Sunroof model, custom shifter setup. Just so many cars here, it is insane. Guys are lining up right now to get weighed in over at the Hux booth. Another MR2 here, 2GR swap, V6. Got a guy weighing right now. Eric, how much is that weigh in and at? Huh? How much is that weigh in at? Beautiful blue MR2 here. We have Dean here. Dean, Ryan. What's up, Ryan? Nice to meet you, man. Uh, Dean, can you give me a quick rundown of your car? I just—I was looking at it here. It's, just, it's extremely clean. So, can you give uh, me a little backstory on the car and then how it got to where it is now? You're too nice. Um, this car is actually—it's not painted. It's vinyl wrapped. Oh, it's vinyl wrapped. Yeah, it's vinyl wrapped. The car underneath is black, black paint, and uh, gone through—you know—it's a little process to get a car, a little different than the rest of people. Oh, uh, you got the. Big brake kits right there. The guitar big brake kit. This is, everyone else is running Willwood guys. And this guy's got a real rotor kit. I haven't seen rotor in a, quite some time. Yeah, I want to be a little different than the rest of the crowd. No, I understand. Uh, I mean, you know, Willwood's great setup, but I want it to be different. And uh, the interior, I just redid my interior uh, for the year. This is what they call Japan, the red dot interior. Okay. So you have the perforation with the red dots inside. I I've never heard of that or seen, I'll be honest here. I could be wrong, but I think it was only two years available, 97 and 98. Okay. So I kind of mimic that look uh, with the, the red dot interior. Okay. And I carry out with the uh, the same floor mats, that's custom. Love this. No, now I got to ask about this because it's something I like. Which, yeah. So it says a man, what's, I'm sorry. Uh, man in Dism, new rich man sports. Weird I know. I know Japanese translations yeah. are always funny. HKS, Goretti always had those exactly. weird translations, always laughed at it, but it's cool. Same thing. So that's MR2 Pacific. And uh, this is super rare. Um, I noticed these last night and I was like, I've never seen them. I've seen them online, but I've yeah. never seen them in person. Uh, if you guys can see this, it's hard to pick up in the glass, but this is, that's not a sticker. It's, it's inside sticker. the glass. It's an actual louver. Okay. Um, there's two clips right here that holds onto the interior until um, the trim, uh, okay. trim. So it's an actual piece, like okay. a acrylic piece. Okay. Super rare. Uh, just a standard third gen. So this is a third gen swap third gen then? Third gen swap, uh, forged internals. Um, and this is not a rare piece here that most people don't have around here. It's actually the, the molded trunk. So hat. I was look, that's the first thing I noticed is like I'm I love little things like that. Yeah, and I yeah. noticed that I have never seen one in person either. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, another thing I wanted to point out guys, 
he said this is wrapped, but if you look, it's wrapped the whole way around. Like, it's nicely done. There's no uh, uh, uncut edges or anything. Wrapped inside the doors, everything. I mean, it's, Vin whoever did this did a very, very good job. Vin number still sticking. You can tell someone took their time when doing and this. Limited uh, JDM steel plates right here. Okay. And I still got the cover plastic on it because yeah. I don't want to scratch. No, I don't blame you. I don't blame so, you. Um, that and um, the other piece I have, JDM, is the, uh, the TRD, uh, TRD clutch. Oh, wow. He has a real TRD cluster. Yep. It's a. Uh, it's there not soldered. It's actually repinning in proper position. Like some people just re-soldered yep. connections. I actually repinned re everything. everything the right way. Perfect. It actually works. And, uh, I like the fact too. So is that? So I call it super steering wheel because I have one in my. I, I have a '95 Super, so I always take them. Yeah. And then because we came with the, I call it the Camry steering wheel, <laughs> yeah, exactly. and I hated it, so yeah. I always swap it over to a JDM yeah. steering wheel. Is yeah. that what that is, or is that? This is actually off a um, Corolla S steering wheel, and okay. the back is off a Supra. Okay. So it's a Corolla uh, S steering wheel. Yep. So I wish I could show you. Uh, actually, got my fart lights mm -hmm. to motorize with the steering wheels, like the JDM. Yeah. I was a daylight. Yeah, it's hard to see, but that's very cool. Yeah, so that's that's the turn, and my last mod for this is uh, the fold the mirror. So when you yep, the, the key, yep, they fold in automatically. Yep. I like this little the yes. runner down here, the yeah. feed style side skirts here, and I like that it yep. has the mud yep. flaps. Yeah, custom. I just want to be a little front. I want to kind of keep it stock, body style a little bit. Yep. Uh, so just kind of. I love Dean. I love this car again, man. Thanks Thank so you much, very man. much. Absolutely, man. Glad you enjoyed it. I just found this uh, crimson red in the engine bay, okay. polished to uh, the T. Trying to keep that up would have to be a lot of work. Another sunroof model. Horns going off over there. This I'm really digging right now on the work equips. White, again, it has the 94 rear spoiler on it. Work equips. I'm not sure. The tires look massive on this thing. I'm not even sure what they are. They're Dunlops, but what size tire are they? They're just a 245, so small. I'm running a 255. These tires look a lot bigger than what they really are. 215 front. But it looks really aggressive. It's a good look. Got some covers for sale here. Another one with work equips on it too. A little bit more aggressive setup. Another hard top model. Here's some wheels I tried to find. They are TRD wheels, five spokes. They're pretty hard to come by. Got a super steering wheel on this one too. Duck wheel on the back. This originally wasn't must have been an NA because the deck lid's different. Right hand drive, hard top. TE37 car. It's in really, really good condition. God, I wish I had a hard top. TE37 is fitted perfectly. And it has these projector headlights, but I really like, which I really like. I can speak English. It has real JD, obviously, because it's a real JDM car, it has a real JDM turns in it. I always thought about this too. So, like JDM cars say twin cam turbo on the side. I'm not sure if that was ever a USDM thing or not, but. I'd like to do that. I think that'd be kind of cool. And if you want the premium raffle, please see Matt Schaefer into the first row of the SMG Gen 2 and the big wing. I keep forgetting there's no idle air control valve. I'm like, oh yeah. Turbo. Right, guys, I was walking around and I was like, man, there's a gentleman that walked up to me. I was up at Ty's booth and I was like, all right, I thought everyone's been asking me today, are you Ty? And I was like, okay. Then I walked by and see this car. I'm like, oh shit. And I didn't even look at his shirt and see final form and I should have known better. But uh, so can you just give a quick rundown of the car here? Yeah. I mean, just tell, tell me about it and just go over what you have here because it so, is a, it's a ton. I bought the car four years ago and 
bought it because it basically displayed for manufacturers uh, such as Ray's uh, Japan, Cusco, and Gretti. And I guess whatever you see here is basically from probably about six manufacturers altogether. Sure. For the most part. Um, the kit is a full authentic Gretti kit. Um, I had Gretti source me the kit. I had their big break kit, which is discontinued. So this is disco. I didn't realize yeah, that. Yeah, it's a discontinued kit, and it's a two-piece. Um, two-piece rotor and hat. Two-piece rotor. Um, Cusco sent me their seats, their cage, their bracing. Uh, so a lot of it is Cusco parts. And like you said, now this is for a hard top. It's for a hard top, and I talked to Cusco Japan, and we're gonna revise the listing of it. Um, so I basically gave him all the information they needed. Um, his name is Yuki, and so he's gonna basically update the listing and confirm. Since I confirmed it with him to say that it's it does also fit. Work for a tea time. Now, what are these? I've seen these before. Whatever. They're so. I guess they're uh, sought after. Yeah, they're Ganador mirrors. Um, okay. They were discontinued. Um, one con beat that most people don't know is right-hand drive mirrors. The glass is different. Okay. You can't see it, but I have left-hand drive mirrors that. Oh wow. Were made. They did a bunch. They okay. ran it for a hundred pieces, and they all sold out. Of course. Two sets. Of course you do. That's awesome, man. And like, if you guys will come around to the back here, there's just there's so much to go over in this car. It's unreal. And so then we have it has a 90, I guess 98 to 99 wing yeah, so, um, with a riser of some sort. Me and my partner Ying, I originally designed this piece right here. Okay. I sent them all the drawings and we produced it. And okay. So now it's for sale. So anyone can buy this whole setup if they want. All right, but for you, it was a one-off piece originally, and you put all the design time and yeah, all that kind of stuff and then into we it. We just decided just to sell because we have the mold. So we're just, you want it to go to waste. You're like, well, yeah, and he's from Malaysia. His name is Jing, so you can uh, anyone that wants a setup, they you can get it without the risers, also. But it's adjustable. See, I'd love this like at the factory height with this duck bill. Like, it reminds me of a lot of the R32 stuff when I yeah. see that. Yep, and then I see you have a custom uh under tray, or I guess diffuser, yeah. I should say. Uh, the diffuser I got from uh, one of my good friends from Thailand, um, and it needed a lot of work because um, it's a Bari. So Okay. So I had a, uh, my buddy, John, he works for our Audi factory race team. Okay. And he designed me all the brackets and everything. So it's not just L-shaped brackets. Sure. Um, there's actually, he spent 12 hours just designing the brackets. And so, see, that means it was properly done, which is yeah, nice. I mean, he works for our Audi factory race team. And yep. He's one of the engineers. So he does, I had him design all the brackets for me. And so I always laughed about that. I have a friend who has a top secret diffuser and you get it and like it's expensive as it is, and it's high quality. It literally comes with like aluminum L-shaped yeah. brackets. Um, this one, it's, I wish I can show you, but. Oh, it's so far, it, it's too much oh, yeah. to see, but I did see it. It says, yeah, it's uh, connected to yep. It's just uh, engine lid is the NSV Racing. Okay. They, recently, they discontinued it. This is serial number two, so they have serial number one, I believe. Okay. I would hope so. And this is serial number two. I found it brand new in New Jersey. Uh, wow, go figure. And, uh, but I heard that they're going to reproduce these soon. That's awesome. I mean, the car is just clean overall. Um, where can they find? I mean, where can they find you on Facebook or Instagram? Where's the best uh, way to find you? Probably Instagram. Okay. Uh, my Instagram is m uh, underscore runabout. Okay. And I'll make sure the okay. I'll write that down below I, for you guys here. I deal with a lot of uh, Japanese companies such, such as like HKS, Ready, Cusco, uh, Raze, Japan. Um, this car was actually in Ray's booth at Wakefest, so uh, I know all the people. From so he's saying he's got the hookup, guys. He sell you sell just about everything when it comes yeah, to that kind of stuff. It's just that I don't really post a lot on the Facebook group. Sure. And it's just you know. But, but hey, you guys, I, you know the wheels I got from Race Japan, and they hooked me up with that. <laughs> I love these wheels, the T37s. Now, which model are these? Because there's so many different. Yeah, so they're just not a lot of people know, but they're discontinuing the TE37 SL soon. Okay. So, the so these are the replacements. So these are called the Sagas. Okay, so and now they're all, from what I can see, they're all engraved yep, so now. So no more stickers. There's no more stickers. They did the engraving because people were replicating it too much and buying the real stickers. So yep. now, now what they did is if you, if you wanted to buy a sticker, you have to show proof of that you bought. Smart. TE37. Yep, original. HRE does the same thing if you buy center caps and stuff. Yeah, so now discontinuing the SLs, 
they did the engraving and you can't replicate if you kind of I don't know if you can see but within the words do you see all those lines it's impossible to replicate that right now. Um, so a few differences on um, they have the knurling uh, technology for uh, the tire so but no one's gonna replicate this anymore sure <laughs> now I always wondered so you're, you're the wheel guy do the T37s even offer a center cap? I've never seen a T37 with a center cap. So the SLs never came with a center cap, but you can get an adapter. Um, this one, the Sagas, um, you can put a center cap. Okay. The center caps um, are, I believe, 200. Okay. Um, a set of four. That's typical for that yeah. kind of stuff. But it's, I mean, I just want to say overall, the car is just, uh, guys, it's, it's just beautiful. The seats, literally everything about this. There's very few cars here that I'm like infatuated. It's this, Randy's car over there. Um, there's one other car over there. I just it's extremely clean, man. So again, thank you very much, man, for letting me look over it. Again, guys, I'll list his Instagram stuff down below for y'all. I mean, if anyone ever has questions about stuff, just uh, shoot me a DM. He's helped me a ton with wheel specs. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right, no problem. And I just popped the cable off when I did that. Did you really? Yeah, because I pushed it from the other side and then pulled it from the cable and pushed slack in the cable. Oh my God. Yeah, see it hanging over there. Hey, that's character. Andy's car right now, get some turbo noises. Holy shit! That's like instant. 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 Whoa, speed bump. No. No, we don't do speed bumps in these kind of cars. That's uh, that's loud. You can hear the turbos. I can hear just like. Alright guys, so it was a bit of a like hodgepodge of a video, I get that. Uh, I am home now, I actually just washed my MR2 here. I did get one battle scar from the event uh, when I was driving down there. I got this, and you probably wouldn't pick up that much on camera, but actually it's not just like a nick, it actually put a hole in the bumper. I hit a piece of wood in the way down, I shouldn't say hit, it flew out of the guy's truck. But for me, when the bumper is literally flawless right now and you have that, it just sticks out and it bothers the shit out of me, so I'll probably take this front bumper back off, take it back over to Travis Beaver and have him spray it. But I digress there. Uh, I wanted to give a big shout out to Ty at TCS Motorsports and Chris also over there. Uh, those guys were fantastic to me, I had such a great time. Um, I don't know, I had fun. I really did enjoy the event. Uh, it was definitely different. I'm definitely, I always say this because I am more of a super guy. I always admit that, like, that is my baby. I love my MR2, but it's not that. This would go in a heartbeat before that car would. Um, I had a great time. I mean, everything was fun. Uh, I was awesome meeting Renee and Eric Hux. They, they were fantastic. They were just genuinely nice people. You couldn't ask for the more, the most honest, real people Period. Like they were just genuinely good, nice people. It's hard to it's hard to explain that. Uh, meeting Randy, his beautiful blue MR2, which you saw there in the video. Dean and his wrapped blue MR2, which was also awesome. Uh, JD and his black MR2. Just so many good people I've been wanting to meet, and I got to meet finally. Just an all-around great event. They have alcohol, which hello, it fits me perfectly. So yeah, just had a great time. Uh, I wanted to just give a big shout out and say thank you guys very much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you could do me a favor, if you've made it to the end, this is a long video, go down below, check out the Facebook and Instagram, always posting stuff way ahead of time. Also, go check out the Pure Function website. Uh, thank you guys very much, and I'll talk to you later. Peace!